Right, so in the first part of this demo, I demonstrated creating an extension uh, profile for CSML, so a profile that adds a new uh, stereotype called requirement plus. And then using that profile um, in the context of a CSML model that lives in the same workspace as a profile. This is all fine for, uh, for the development phase, but at some point you will want to uh, distribute your profile to other colleagues, uh, for example. And in this case, you don't want to distribute uh, the, the Eclipse project and ask them to import it into their workspace and so on and so forth. You want to be able to export your profile in a binary form um, and then uh, allow your colleagues to install it using the, the standard um, help uh, install new software. Uh, facility of, of Eclipse, right? So you want to export your profile as a binary uh, Eclipse plugin and then allow them to install it as any other uh, Eclipse plugin, right? So uh, the first step would to, in, in doing that would be to convert this uh, this project, this Papyrus project, into what Eclipse calls a plugin project. And the way to do that is to right click and go configure, convert to plugin projects. Okay, select the one we want to convert to a plugin. And you will see that what this actually does is it creates a manifest file. So um, this specifies an ID for our plugin, a version, a name, etc. Right, so the Next thing we need to do is we need to go to the extensions uh, tab of our manifest and declare our profile. Because currently our profile is just a file in the project. It's just a UML file. Now we need to let Eclipse and Papyrus know that this is actually a profile and it contains useful, useful stuff. Right. So the standard way of, uh, the standard Eclipse way of uh, adding new functionality, or contributing new functionality to the ID is through uh, extensions. So when I click add, you will see a number of, of extensions here. Right, so all of these are essentially points for extending, uh, for extending Eclipse. So you can contribute, for example, a new AND task, um, you can contribute a new, uh, say, type of file system, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we want to uh, contribute a new uh, UML profile. Okay. UML profile. Okay, good. So we click finish. Uh, and yes, we want to add the, the plugin that defines this extension point to the dependency of our, uh, of our uh, plugin. So now if we go to the dependencies tabs, you, the tab you will see this uh, uml.extension points plugin which actually defines this, this extension. Right, and now we need to fill in some, some details. So uh, what's the name of our profile, for example? Uh, requirements plus I will come back to this one um, an icon path so I have some some files here I have some icons here that I will just copy and paste into my project so these are two icons one for the profile and one for the for the stereotype so icon path I will select requirements plus Okay, and this is uh, a class profile and it comes from the University of York. York. Okay, so now here I need to specify the path of my of my profile, and one would expect that I could just type. Uh, model.profile.uml, which is where, where my uh, profile actually lives. But this is not the case. We need a, we need a level of indirection. Um, so what I need to do is I need to add 
a new a new extension uh, for URI mapping. And essentially, uh, we'll have to map a real path, a real folder, into a virtual folder, and then use the virtual folder plus the, the file name of the profile uh, to, to, to declare its location. So this doesn't make any more sense to me than, than it does to you, by the way. OK, so let me cheat and go here so that will be like source and then that will be target so let's copy and paste that and it will be here Right, so now you see I'm using this virtual path plus model.profile.uml to declare my uh, my profile. Let me make sure that I haven't missed uh, anything. No, that all looks fine. Okay. So now we have defined the uh, the extension that tells Eclipse where our profile lives. Uh, but currently, in this Eclipse instance. Uh, this manifest and plugin.xml files that, that we uh, that we just created uh, are just files, right? So actually, these these will tell a new Eclipse uh, that it needs to load this profile. So the question becomes, how do we run a new Eclipse from within uh, Eclipse? So it's actually quite easy. It's the, the default plugin development mode. So you can right click on your project. And now, because it's a plugin project, you can go run as Eclipse application. And this will actually launch a second um, papyrus that contains whatever functionality is contained in this papyrus plus your, uh, your plugin, your profile. Okay, so um, let's create a new papyrus project. CSMN project and call it demo and we want a requirements diagram and a requirements table like before. So what we can do now is we can click on this button, browse registered profiles, and our profile appears here with the icon we uh, we selected. So I click OK and then finish. Okay, so I can then go to my requirements diagram, uh, select a, a requirement, go here, and then I can go to the profile tab, get rid of the stereotype exactly as I did in the first part of the of this tutorial, and select. Uh, requirement plus stereotype, which means that then I can go back to my requirement table and as I did in the previous, in the first part of the demo, I can add this new verified column. Right? Good. Okay, so now I will go back to my first Eclipse, I will close this, this Eclipse and I will demonstrate how we can also add a custom uh, palette to, to the editor, to the, to the Papyrus editor in this, second, um, in this second Eclipse, so that when we need to create a new requirement plus, we don't, ha we don't have to create a requirement first and then go to its profile and so on and so forth. What we want to do essentially is we want to add a button here uh, that allows us to create a requirement plus directly. So let me close the clips. Um, so the way to uh, extend Papyrus with uh, a new palette, a new set of buttons, is through uh, another extension. 
So what we need to do is we need to click again, add here, type palette. and uh, select palette definition. Yes, we want to add the plugin that defines this extension. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy and paste this, uh, all of these extensions are actually stored in this plugin.xml file. So um, you will see our extension for the equal URI mapping and for our UML profile and this source and target mappings and so on and so forth. So what I'll do is I will just go to my uh, to my other folder and I will copy this object here. Okay. Now if we switch back to the graphical editor for this, right? You will see that here I can define the name of my palette and ID, uh, which has to be unique but has no other semantics. Um, the actual description of my palette, so I also need a second XML file, which I will copy and paste into, into my plugin. And if we look at this file, it actually specifies the contents of the palette. So there's a new drawer, uh, and then there's a tool which is called create a requirement plus class which essentially creates um, a new class right and then it applies this requirements plus requirement plus stereotype uh, to it and if you wanted to add more tools for more stereotypes you just need to uh, copy and paste and have more of these aspects tools under uh, drawer. Okay, so now it should be possible to rerun Okay, so here it is, right? Now this is the, uh, this is our extension so we can now click on it and this will create directly an element with uh, a, a UML class essentially with this requirement plus a stereotype already applied uh, to it. Okay, so now we have a proper Eclipse plugin. Um, if you want to distribute this plugin, there are several, several ways. Uh, the simplest way is to right click on it and then uh, go export and select plugin development deployable plugins and fragments, and then you can export it as a, as a zip file, and you can take that zip file and throw it in the drop-ins folder of, uh, of another Papyrus, and then Papyrus will pick it up and will act exactly as our nested Eclipse. So it will display the palette, it will know about the, the, the extended stereotype, and so on and so forth. Um, but there are more ways, so the, the proper way, if you, if you plan to distribute this to a, to a large audience and you, don't, and you want to do this through the, uh, the built-in Eclipse uh, interface, so this window, sorry, this help install new software profile, uh, install new software um, button, then you will need to create an update site. And I won't demonstrate how you can create an update site. There are plenty of, of tutorials that show how to do this. I will link a couple of them uh, from the description of the, of the video.